Welcome back to Kids Fun Science. My name's Ken. Today's experiment is gelatin stalagmites. As always, adult supervision is required. What you need for this experiment is a balloon and unflavored gelatin. You're going to start off with a plate or a tabletop and a balloon. I'm using a plate because of the color plate and then unflavored uh, of the gelatin. It doesn't matter what brand I believe. I just grabbed the cheapest one off the shelf. And then once you get that uh, box and you have that, we're going to open it up. It comes in four different packs. So I grabbed one of the packs and opened it up. Um, and we're going to pour it a pot in a pile on the plate. So um, this time I reversed the plate upside down so I can see it a little bit better. You don't have to pour it all out. Um, so I just make a pile and then you're going to charge your balloon on your with your hair. Rub it back and forth to get that charged. And then bring it close to the gelatin. Isn't that cool? Um, it is pretty awesome. And I'll tell you the science behind it. This simple but awesome experiment is, is really just fun to do. Uh, so the science behind it is the particles in the gelatin will arrange themselves in columns resembling stalagmites as the charged balloon is brought near. The gelatin particles are normally neutral but become temporarily polar when brought near the balloon. The negatively charged balloon repels the negative charges and brings the positive charges closer to the surface of the gelatin particles. The polarity is transmitted to the neighboring particles until you eventually have a long chain of molecules held together by attracting the opposite charges. Isn't that cool? So uh, go ahead and go out and get next time you're shopping and go get yourself a box of unflavored gelatin. Um, I noticed when I bring the balloon really close, when you just have it on the surface, it's just going to bring those up, right? And that's when they start to fall down. It's pretty cool. So one more time, here we are. You can bring it really close. You can see it just starts to attract and starts to stay on the balloon. So you kind of make a little designs. When you pull it away, it'll drop. I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to click thumbs up and to subscribe as we do a new video every day. Thanks for watching.